Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve this equation for B, so we're going to get B on its own. Alright, get B on its own. So there are two things being done to B. A is being added to it and C is being added to it. We could subtract both of them at the same time. I'm just going to subtract one at a time. So I'm just going to start with subtract C from both sides. Okay, now on the left I'll have P minus C equals, and on the right I have A plus B. C minus C makes zero, so that's gone away. So I still don't have B on its own. A is being added to it. So I'm going to, now I'm going to subtract A from both sides. And I get P minus C minus A equals B. And so now we're done. We have B on its own. All right? So we could have subtracted both A and C at the same time at the beginning if we wanted to. We could have done this subtract a subtract c from the right subtract a subtract c from the left and we would get p minus a minus c equals b and that would also be correct all right and of course this is a negative a a negative c so we could also write this p minus a minus c equals b both ways are correct both mean the same thing right um, and just to further explain this Imagine P was, say, the number 10, and instead of P at 10 equals A was 2, uh, B was, let's say, 3, and C was 5. And let's say you want to get the number 3 all by itself. So instead of solving for B, you're solving for 3. You could subtract 2 from both sides. All right, and you get 10 minus 2 equals, um, you know, 3 plus 5. And then you could subtract 5 from both sides, and you get 10 minus 2 minus 5 is equal to 3. Now check if that's correct. Is that correct? Right, because 10 minus 2 is 7, and 7, or sorry, 10 minus 2 is 8, and 8 minus 5 is 3, right?